Hi there, Carmen Badan here with Real Pro Realty with another episode of Carmen Daily. Today I'm going to share with you a story about my sign. This is the sign that I planted at the corner of 16th Avenue Southwest and 21st Street Southwest. This sign was planted because the previous sign was ripped up by Irma. So I went ahead and ordered a nicer sign. This time I thought, how about if I put my picture on it, uh, I will maybe get more responses. Somebody a few days ago decided to deface my sign. There it is. They came out of their car with a can of spray paint and uh, sprayed my face, my phone number, my name, I don't know the reason and I noticed it as I was on my way to a listing presentation so I was on a mission and I decided you know what this is not the right time for me to spend time on it I'm gonna move on um, and get my job done on my way back home passing by the sign again mission accomplished by the way um, I see the sign again and of course several feelings start crossing my my mind several thoughts start crossing my mind uh, one of them is uh, anger so I thought who in the world would do that why would they do that why me what is it they didn't like about the sign did they not like my dress did they not like my pearls what is it? What's the problem? Did I misspell something? I mean, why me? Why would they bother me? I didn't upset anybody. I don't ever do anything to upset anybody. Or maybe it's not anger. Or maybe it's not, you know, somebody hating me, I thought to myself. Maybe it's somebody just envious, somebody who's jealous of me, somebody who, somebody who actually thinks highly enough of me to take the risk of getting out of their car with a spray paint and go and spray my sign. It must have taken them a couple of minutes to do that. So somebody who took that kind of a risk to commit a crime in the state of Florida, vandalizing is um, basically destroying someone's property. So somebody who took that risk for me, they thought of me, I am important enough for them to take that kind of a risk. So going back and forth between anger and vanity, I had a thought and I remembered a book by Neville Goddard. The title of the book is Your Inner Conversations Are Creating Your World. And I realized one thing, I don't want to live in the world of anger. I don't want to live in the world of vanity. None of these two feelings will serve me well. They don't serve me now, they never will. So therefore, there's gotta be something else into it. Life doesn't just happen. Life doesn't just happen to you. Life happens for you. So I need to learn a lesson from this. So the lesson I learned from this is humbleness and humility. It is not about me. I don't matter. I am not important when it comes to this sign. When I market myself, I don't really market myself. I market for my clients because I serve my clients, because I want to do everything possible to get the job done for my clients. So I want to reach out to whoever did this and I want to tell you, thank you and I love you. Thank you so much for opening my eyes to what is important in life, to setting my priorities straight. And I want to leave you guys with a quote from Nelson Mandela. He said, I stand here before you, not as a prophet, but as a humble servant of you, the people. I love you guys. Don't forget, be humble, be loving, and I now will have to go and try to clean up this side. You have a wonderful day.